There's a new tool just out which can help track cognitive decline and can help doctors figure out who may be on the path to Alzheimer's or another form of dementia. Joining me now via Skype from Quebec City is Dr. Robert Laforce, who's a neurologist with the Université Laval. Thank you so much for joining us this morning, doctor. Thanks for having me, Ben. So the tool is called COCO. So we have found that essentially Dementia is on the rise in every cultures. We also have noted that about 60% of the individuals that are affected with dementia do not consult with their family physician. In clinical practice with older people, we didn't have a tool to follow patient cognition and to discriminate normal from pathological trajectory. In fact, cognition was only evaluated when symptoms became obvious. So I said to myself that it will be very helpful if we have sort of cognitive decline charts like the pediatric growth curves. When we test a patient in our office, for instance, with a cognitive screening test, which is the most uh, used cognitive screening test across the world, the MMSC, the Mini Mental State Examination, we come up with a score based on 30 points. It was a long and hard process to obtain the cognitive charts as we finally published them, and it needed a complex mathematical analysis. One key was to generate two new parameters, the cognitive quotient and the standardized age. The process to generate the percentile cognitive charts was an innovation for which we obtained the intellectual property. Therefore, cognitive charts developed on any other cognitive test belong to us. The performances of COCO are very impressive. Our tool is able to recognize more than 80% of all individuals with dementia. Also, when COCO indicates a normal trajectory, more than 95% of all cases will be confirmed as normal. But more importantly, you need to know what is associated with normal aging. So the cognitive charts will allow to position an individual when compared to the rest of his normative group. And more interestingly, one year down the road or two years down the road, you'll be able to find out with the cognitive charts if is the trajectory more associated with dementia or the trajectory is associated with normal aging. As a tool for diagnosis process, COCO can be used freely by all clinicians in the classic paper form and the mobile application is also available. The final diagnosis still belongs to the physicians, but COCO is a valuable tool to help them in this process. We have studied a database of more than 8,000 normal individuals and we now know what is the normal cognitive decline associated with age. And with COCO, elderly people now have a better chance to be diagnosed at the very beginning of the disease. More than medication, early diagnosis gives time to patients to plan their wills, stop driving, choose their future living places, or simply live their life every day. It is very important. In fact, it is crucial for us to screen early because if we screen early, we can treat early and spare as much neurons as we can. In December of 2017, our cognitive charts were first published and the COCO application was launched. It captured the attention around the world, especially in North America. People were welcoming a new and innovative way to help patients with memory problems. We wish to develop COCO further. Our research team is already at work to develop new cognitive charts with other tests. But we need financial support to maintain long-term intellectual property to keep rising the number of clinicians using our tool, to get into EMR of every physician, and to develop COCO on Android platforms. This is a Canadian tool to help the world fight Alzheimer's disease. We are proud to be the first generating cognitive charts like this.